Here at the AWS Systems Manager Service Console, over on the navigation pane, scroll down to the bottom, all the way down here, and then click Documents. Next, click on the Create Document button. And for the name, we're going to call this install dash code deploy agent. The document type is a command document, so we'll leave that as is. And under content, select the YAML radio button. And then I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And then I'm going to paste in the contents of the command document. All right, let's scroll down just a bit here. If you are not using the US East One region, please direct your eyes to line 16. And oh, it just jumped to the end there for me, but that's exactly what I want. You're going to need to change the region to whatever region you are using. Make sure you change the region here at the very end of the command, as well as the region in the bucket name. So AWS dash code deployed dash whatever the region is that you happen to be using. Everything else in this file will stay the same. And by the way, if you wanted to install the code deploy agent as part of the instance provisioning process, you can do that by putting these commands into the user data section of the launch template. That way, new instances that autoscaling provisions will already have the agent installed. Now, I'm not going to do that here, but feel free to try that on your own for some extra practice. All right. Once we've got the document all pasted in here, let's go back up check that everything looks good and then scroll to the bottom and click create document. Now click in the search field here, click owner and then click owned by me. And there is the document. Let me close this here. There we go. There is our document. Now next over on the navigation pane on the left, scroll down until you see run command, which is under actions and then click run command. Over on the right side, click the run command button. Click in the search box again, and then locate the document just as you did before. And there it is, install code deploy agent. Select the radio button next to that. Now scroll all the way down until you see target instances. And there we go. We're gonna go ahead and select both instances and then scroll all the way down to output options right there. And in this case, we do not want to write command output to a bucket. So go ahead and uncheck that option. And then finally, let's scroll all the way to the bottom and then click the run button. All right. And in a matter of seconds, the installation completes. Now to verify that it actually installed the agent, we're going to log into one of the instances, but instead of using SSH, we're going to use another feature of AWS systems manager called session manager. Over on the navigation pane, locate where it says session manager right here, and then click on that, please. Click the start session button. And then let's go ahead and select the first instance here and then click start session. All right. It opens up a very simple shell here. And to check that the code deploy agent is running, you're just going to issue the command sudo service code deploy dash agent status, and it is running. So we will assume given that our two instances are cut from the same cloth, since the installation worked on this one, it also worked on the other one. All right, let's go ahead and type in exit to exit the session and then click close. And that's it. The code deploy agent is installed.